Hey everybody, it's Jason Coaches. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be inking a drawing by Rumiko Takahashi, um, famous manga artist, um, one of my favorite artists actually as well. Um, and you can see I um, already started here inking. I sped up the video uh, just to make it a little bit shorter. It's been about a half hour um, inking this drawing I found of Rumiko's that I'm thinking it was earlier in her career, um, probably the early 70s, uh, sorry, late 70s, early 80s. But um, but yeah, I just printed it out in uh, blue ink on regular paper and using my um, Tombow brush pens here. Just, just trying to uh, get into the mindset of what it's gonna be like inking my uh, comic book so I'm a little bit out of practice I've been mostly doing pencils lately so this I wanted to get a little more inking practice and I figured who better to learn from but um, from one of my favorite artists and really uh, a lot of these drawings that I've been doing lately they've been pretty rough this one's a little bit more um, fleshed out so I just wanted to try to honor what was there, but, you know, put my spin on it and just sort of experiment and see what happens. Um, had a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying the uh, video and the content that I've been putting out on my Patreon. If you haven't, uh, please uh, subscribe. There'll be a link at the end of the video for that, all the information for that. But, um, but yeah, for here, um, specifically in the video, um, where I'm inking, you know, a lot of the lines are already there, so I'm just sort of um, doing what I can, what I what I feel like it should look like. Again, I, I don't know what the final looked like. I didn't research the final for this particular drawing. Um, I just liked uh, mostly the facial expression, like the way her chin is, which I think I exaggerated a little bit too much here, but... Um, <laughs> I did want to experiment also with the the way the eyes are. She's this character looks a little bit more angry, um, and I just a second ago there I was uh, adding in the details in the tree, which I'm not even sure if this character is hiding behind a tree, but it looked like a tree to me. So um, I just put in some details just to give myself a little bit more of a roadmap um, with this uh, blue pencil that I have that I've been drawing most of my stuff with and uh, now I'm just ha adding in a little bit some of the darker areas with the Tombow pen there yeah originally I thought I was gonna make the hair completely uh, black but I decided and it, what I had drawn in there was the highlight area but I think what I'm I decided to change it and just have certain areas of it. So everything below that line, I will fill in with black. Um, and then again, not really sure what, what this is in her hair. I don't know if that was like um, an expression or if it was supposed to be like a flower, but uh, looks kind of like an asterisk to me. So, um, and again, just, uh, putting in uh, sort of the edges of the black because I'm going to come in with a uh, brush and paintbrush and ink here in a minute once I get it, all the little finer small detail areas filled in and trying to make this uh, tree the thickest line here because it's in the foreground. I've always heard that you want to have the, uh, the thickest lines closest to you. I think it was George Perez, uh, famous DC new titans artist favorite artist of mine as well um, who I, I sort of picked that up from so yeah now i've got the ink in the brush and just gonna um fill in the areas a lot quicker saves a lot more um ink from my uh brush pens when i do it like this but yeah it's really starting to come together it's uh I think this this drawing turned out well, was successful. Um, oh, and here I noticed that you know the one side looks like she had a little sideburn hair coming down on the uh, left side of her face, so I wanted to put it on the right side as well. 
but yeah, I mean, overall, I, for me, this is just experimenting, uh, playing around with the brushes, um, seeing how thick and how thin I can go with the um, with the brush pens, and also just, you know, see how I feel like I could have inked this particular artist's work. Um, oh, and then here we go. I'm putting in the, uh, as if it was like a real panel um, with the uh, microns, which is what I plan to do to use for my comic as well. Yeah, you have to let me know if uh, you feel like I was successful in the comments below. Just a uh, little minor details here. Little, little tweaks. Um, I always try to make the, the under part of the chin a little bit thicker of a line. Uh, and here I was actually going to try and letter um, what was in the uh, caption block here, but I would have wanted to shift it down a little bit so it was a little bit clearer, so I decided not to do that. But yeah, that's pretty much the drawing. You have to, again, let me know what you think. Oh, my bad. Forgot I was going to put this little uh, dark highlight on the top of the hair as well. Um, really felt like this this helped finished it off um, again you have to let me know if you agree and then I will post the uh, little final touches here but a side-by-side -side comparison of the original drawing with uh, my ink exercise here oh and that was thinking that flower asterisk thing I don't like it so I'm just gonna take it out Appreciate you checking it out. And here we go. On the left-hand side, you'll see the original blue lines. And then on the right side is my version of it. But again, hope, hope you like it. If you don't, let me know. If you do, please let me know. Be sure to follow me on Patreon where you can see me develop my own manga-inspired comic book.